Hello my fellow family booty friend, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 8. Today's grocery hauls is gonna be from three different stores. I have Walmart, Meyer, and then I'm going to Aldi later today, so you'll see that after these two hauls, I'm getting lots of good stuff for lots of yummies. And I know you don't wanna miss it, so stay tuned to the end and you can see what dinners I'm making with all this yummy stuff, so we'll hop right to it. Okay, I have onions. I just keep these um, on hand all the time and I'm running low. We used a lot of onions this past week with Thanksgiving prep and sandwiches and lots of different things, just my onions are low. Broccoli, we are having a pan-fried Asian stir-fry. My husband likes to make it, and we're having broccoli in it, same as the carrots. Lemon, we are having chicken shawarmas. We make this. It's a recipe his mom has used ever since my husband was a little kid, and I like to make tabbouleh. That's an addition I make to the meal, and I need lemon for the tabbouleh. Cucumbers are for my girls' lunches, also for the tabbouleh. I ordered two Roma tomatoes and I wasn't notified that I was subbed, but I got one large um, like vine tomato. I think that'll work, but I'm just gonna check the pricing because it seems really weird to me that they substitute it. And I do really like Roma tomatoes, are my favorite tomato to use when I dice them into recipes, but you know, I'll make do. I am an overcomer. Carrots are just for the stir fry and then we'll just eat them. Um, I like to slice them for salads or lots of different things, but mainly we bought them for the stir fry. I bought this creme brulee coffee because I forget. I bought two of them. I now have a backup in case I forget to order another one, but I can fill up my coffee grounds with this. It is not the most bold coffee, but it's really good and I like the flavoring and I'm all about value and I feel like it's a good value. A great value, if you will. Milk. Um, I have been to the grocery store twice in the last few days, mainly for like Black Friday small deals, and both times I forgot to get milk, so my husband applauded me when I actually remembered this time. But it was easy because I just ordered it on my phone. Vegetable broth, I have a very sad story to tell you guys. I recently made vegetable broth, I shared it in what's, one of my what's for dinners, and I left it out and I forgot to put it in a jar and it got warm. And so. I didn't feel safe um, freezing it, so now I had to buy vegetable broth for a dinner this week, but you can bet next time I make vegetable broth I won't remember, or you can bet next time I make vegetable broth I won't forget because I'm so ticked at myself I had to buy this. But we are having an all-in-one pasta for dinner where you cook in broth, you cook garlic, linguine noodles, tomatoes, and basil, that's why I got the basil. You cook it all together, it's a vegetarian dish, it's super yummy, and um, the starch of the pasta stays in the juices, so it almost ends up kind of creamy. But I saw it floating around like on Facebook and Pinterest years ago, and ever since I've loved it. So I'll be sharing that in my what's for dinner soon. Water chestnuts are for the pan fried noodles that my husband's making this week. Sour cream, we just it's a, something we keep on hand. I already talked about the lemon. Garlic is well, one we keep it on hand, and then two for the one pot pasta, white bread just for Nutella sandwiches and my daughter's lunches. I won't even pretend that I do that for health reasons, but they'll actually eat it, so it's a win. Waffle fries, I'm making a Chick-fil-A copycat nugget recipe, and I'm making it in my air fryer. One of the things that we're having this week is, huh, I'm making it in my air fryer, so we'll also have waffle fries. It'll be Chick-fil-A night here. Seasoned french fried potatoes we put these on our we put these on our chicken shawarmas and we're getting two nights worth of our shawarma meals so this will be plenty for fillers we go pita chicken hummus french fries pickles i put lettuce in mine no one else does and then me and a couple of my kids like the tabbouleh um that's an addition that my husband won't have because he didn't grow up having it but me and my girls love tabbouleh so this is part of the shawarma dinner Girls' lunches, cat box, ew, not a food, not a meal. Mint and parsley are for me to make tabbouleh and the green onion. Um, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen because I don't know, I don't know if you can see that. All of my stems are cut. I have never had that. I have probably bought hundreds of bunches of parsley. My stems always come out and part of the process of making tabbouleh is deseming it. And I actually keep my parsley stems for when I make vegetable broth. So I'm kind of disappointed they're trimmed. I don't know if that's a new practice or if the person, they put my onions and my parsley, all three, I have two bunches here in the same bag 
and I don't know if they just cut them to make room or if that's a new practice at Walmart, but if you've ever seen your stems cut before you buy the herbs, let me know because I was really kind of surprised by that and not impressed. So this is the mint. This is the only mint that my local stores sell. I would love to find mint like this where I can kind of keep it alive. I can get a lot of meals out of this. It does eventually die. I don't plant it, but I keep watering it and keep it in my windowsill. I don't get forever life out of it, but I can get a long time. And I wish I could do the same thing with mint. I should just learn to grow it, but I have a black thumb, not a green thumb. So this is my Walmart haul. I will share the total with you right here. And we are immediately moving into a Meyer haul. I know I don't talk about Meyer very often because I don't shop there. I used to shop there probably for 10 years in a row. Every single Sunday, I would go around 11 at night when my kids were asleep. Actually, I probably got done at 11 at night, but the prices just don't compare to Walmart and all these. And since I don't work anymore, I don't need the convenience. They are the closest grocery store to me. But since the Walmart has grocery pickup, it's just too easy to forget about Meyer. But I go there, I still look at their sales, and um, these were not on sale, but I love the waffle style. Like they, they usually um, are really great for the melting of chocolates with M&Ms, and you push them into the pretzels. It's a super easy holiday baking. Kids love it, my kids love it, so we are doing that. And Meyer had buy two Hershey's, up to 11 ounce bags, get two free. So I got um, regular Hershey Kisses. They just look like Santa hats. Hershey Hugs, my personal favorite. I got the Peppermint Bark Bells and Rolos. I have one daughter that loves the caramel chocolate. And then we got red and green M&Ms. We'll make lots of different easy holiday treats. Kids, this is so good for this. You'll see them. If you've never been introduced to this, which I'm sure, I'm sure most of you have seen this um, dessert idea, but if you haven't, it's super easy, and you will you can see us make it on a upcoming Vlogmas video where we share our holiday cookie trays that we share with neighbors and friends and the girls' school. So for the four bags of Hershey's, two bags of M&M's, and one bag of pretzels, it was $13.46. And these were all BOGOs, and this was just regular price, but since I was already there and Aldi doesn't sell this waffle style, I really like to have these. I went ahead and just bought them full price. I send. And now we will move into the Aldi haul. Now I have my Aldi haul here. I got chicken for the shawarmas. I got cream cheese to make mint cream cheese bites that Leanne of this of Simply Enjoying Life made. So I'm excited to make those. Try her recipe out for our holiday tray. I got some butter. I was going to buy more, but it went up 80 cents this week and we need some, but I don't need to stock up right now. I got Parmesan cheese just to keep in stock. We're almost out. I got pickles. I actually have two of these. Um, I normally like to get the sandwich slices and then slice them thin, but I'll have to do a little more work with these for our shawarmas. And since I was using so much pickle this week, I'll have a lot of pickle juice and that's why I decided to make the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. I just got some pineapple and pineapple juice so there's no sugar added or fake syrups. That's always that's always important to me when I buy canned fruit. We don't like to buy a ton of canned fruit, but it's just not a big fruit season right now. So I bought a couple of these just to hold us over if we need more fruit. I also got some grapes. I got cheese dip for the walking tacos. I got hummus for the shawarmas. We're having it two nights and we use more than half of one for a single dinner so I had to get two of them and then we'll just snack on the rest. Lemon water. You guys know I love my sparkling waters. My husband requested these cans and then I got the liters for me. I drink one a day. I got white cheddar Cheez-Its. My daughter asked me for these for her lunch and I told her all they didn't have white cheddar but look what they had this week. I'm making a one pot pasta and I'm going to have a Dutch oven crusty bread and so I got some cheese to put on it. My girls take like a sandwich every um, every day for lunch and I got peanut butter and Nutella for that. And then also I saw this on clearance and I thought my middle daughter who loves maple might like this. It's a maple flavored peanut butter so I got a couple of those to try. I'll probably really like these as well. I wish I would have gotten bananas now that I think about it to eat with this but I'll have to add that next time I go to grocery shopping. <laughs> 
I have lettuce just for salads and for walking tacos. I have corn chips for walking tacos. Mini marshmallows just because we're out of them and we like to have them for hot chocolate. I went to pull the ones that we had out and they kind of were all stuck and congealed together. So I had to get more. And finally, tub butter. I have to hide this from my daughter, but I got it for my oldest daughter's birthday. My total for all this was just over $60. And now we'll go into the meal plan. Okay, so the final part of this grocery haul this week came from two specialty stores. This is all from an Asian market. So I got four pounds of oriental style noodles. This will go for many meals. I've never bought this big of a pack before, but we like them and it's a better value. So four pounds for $5, not bad. And if you buy Asian noodles like at Walmart, one, you have like no choice and two, it's much more expensive than $1.25 a pound. So I'm excited about this. My husband makes pan fried noodles and these are the ones he likes. The calls them like the bird's nests and they're really thin noodles and they're dried in little nests like this so I bought one for this week's dinner one for next week's or not next week's the next time we do it I just don't get to the store frequently so it's nice to kind of stock up on these noodles and then this is this is like a fancy ramen there are 30 packs of ramen in here my sister-in-law turned us on to these and she used to bring us them and finally I just went and actually shopped at the store myself and can get them instead of asking her to pick them up for us. So it's 30 packs of these. It's a ramen noodle, but it's so much better than like the top ramen. They're amazing. We love these and we haven't bought them in quite a while. So I'm excited to have them back as an easy um, weekend lunch usually. So between, these are five, it was five dollars for these, two dollars for each pack of this, and then thirteen for the ramen, which um, thirteen dollars in ramen sounds like a lot, but it's less than fifty cents a piece, and they're so much better than the ramen you get at Meijer, or Walmart, or wherever. And then, so this is like, this is like twenty-one dollars total, and then I got two packs of pita at a Lebanese restaurant, they're a restaurant, but they sell very little on the side, um, they have some like baklava, some pita, I think a few other things, and they're two dollars and fifty cents a pack. So there's ten pitas in here. That's probably enough for this week's meals. Every once in a while, we wish we had a couple more pitas. So I did get another pack, um, and I'm gonna freeze them. And then if I need one, I'll pull one out. So hopefully not. We can usually get through with ten pitas for two dinners because they're so big. You don't need to have a lot if you stuff it. So altogether, this is about $27 for, altogether this is just under $27 for my two specialty store purchases. And like I said, a lot of this is stock up on the Asian side, stock up of different noodles, because I don't go to the restaurant very often and it's a little bit out of my way. If these meals sound good to you, make sure that you check out my What's for Dinner that's posted tomorrow where I share all the meals I make with my grocery haul. Also, if you heard me talk about making my own vegetable broth and that's of interest to you, you can check out that video right here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Chow down and chow.